Hello everybody, welcome to the second round game of CNA. We've got England versus France. Um, of course, I'm England, happy and glorious. We've got the Euro 96 squad. We've got a mighty blow wolf, a dodge wolf, five guard. Is it five guard? Yeah, five guard. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, Chu Blanc has got um, some bludge step, some sidestep, a rackle strip, is that? A rackle, rackle dauntless, rackle dauntless. And uh, a stand firm juggernaut roger claw mighty storm so it's a pretty scary team actually i'm not that confident um in the booth is fimir and purple chest so i shall let them take over so i can concentrate and try hard um see you in a bit i'm here i'm here fantastic evening of entertainment we have lined up ahead of us my goodness me so jimmy fantastic unbeatable on necromantic uh planning to uh to Renzi and Wolf his way to glory. Those claws will be ripping apart the ah AV7 of the Skaven. Some of them have AV8. That's true. Choublanc, of course, not only uh, a lovely music-loving Frenchman, a well-known the permanent fixture of the CCL, uh, but an enjoyable person and streamer in his own right. Known for his Skaven play, so two experts in the races that we see in front of us. Anyone see who won? No, I'm still loading the replay. I can see that Me it's too. sunny. And if I have to bet money, I'd say that the shoe blank won the post. Yeah, we have very sunny, so um, the usual aerial play that we so delight in in Blood Bowl may be slightly reduced this evening. Oh, yes, I was expecting a lot of passing rolls from the Necromantic, but this is going to be a problem for them. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll just have to see people run around and hand it hand to hand. We may have to get used to that. Now, Jim, going with the somewhat traditional uh, boat or rule of five defense here with the golems well, on the outside yeah, of it. I see in the chat that Jim nice won. And safe to spring out. Evening, Satterfield. What's going to be very interesting is seeing exactly how Shu, who could, of course, craft this team any way he chooses, chooses to use the rather interesting Rat Ogre. Juggernaut and Stan Firm. Are you a fan, my friend, Firm, yeah? Well, on the stand firm, not mm. especially. The juggernaut, okay, is the poor man's uh, block when you blitz and it stops the stand firm, so helps for the one turners a little. Yes, I mean, I think with the one turn, I think it's going to be very useful, um, particularly against things like flesh columns. But I, I mean, it is only a skill you can only use on blitzing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't uh, fancy very much. And of course you can't blitz with it and blitz with your hitty storm vermin at the same time, that's one of my concerns. I don't imagine Jim's just going to drop things on it and leave them there, but um, if he does, uh, then, you know, the Juggernaut is not block. On a block it does nothing at all. I mean, yeah, not uh, no Corp it's an educated combo. accent, this is how English Man. should sound. Uh, but my friend Fermi, I believe, is from Scotland. Yes, I live in Scotland. I've been living in Edinburgh for 11 years now, but I'm Spanish. Yes, I'm joking with you. He is of Spanish extraction. Yes, in fact, I was just talking, I finished talking with my mother. I was calling me how I was doing. Obviously, I didn't mention anything about Blood Bowl, you know. I was, mom, no, it's probably not going to crop up naturally, is it? No. That's not the kind of mission I'm... I already brought the now of shame to my family name. <laughs> my mother still rolls her eyes when she discusses the little soldiers I still insist on playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, mine, yes, yes, yes. You got used to it, but yeah. Well, now Jim's turn. Back to the game. It's a very... Yes, yeah, so we've seen the ball picked up. 
Skaven haven't really tried to do anything except stabilize their line of scrimmage and collect their ball, keep it nice and safe in the backfield on the two heads sidestep gutter. So no block defense. There's another couple of blodge step gutters. Those are going to be very hard to get hold of. And then, of course, the uh, tackle strip dauntless. No, sorry, uh, wrestle tackle dauntless. That's that's a good uh, rat. I like that one. It's fearsome. It's completely undefended, though, isn't it? Yes. Blow at it hard and it should fall over. At least he has dodge. Yeah, and we're going to see a lot of positional play here, aren't we? Jimmy very good at controlling the positions with those whites and storm vermins. The rat's very fast. Looking for the exact moments where they can use either the juggernaut or that fearsome gutter when it comes to their defense. Jimmy is going to have to do a lot of fishing for Paus because he has no tackle. And most of the gutter runners have a side step, so the frenzy trap is guaranteed. Well, Lemon is good. I mean, there is a history, of course, with England versus France, mainly in wars, not so much in sport. Uh, only recently have France been able to challenge at, um, at the footer. They, of course, have chosen not to play cricket, rather foolishly. Um, and, you know, some people say they're OK at rugby, but I think in our hearts we all know that a French rugby team still lacks basic discipline. And whilst they can do the fancy plays, really, if you get on top of them, the discipline will fall apart. Yes, I don't show us there is no surrender from the French yet, which is a bit surprising to uh, fans of French history. their most famous military unit, the Foreign Legion, uh, recruited exclusively from non-French people. That is correct. And French criminal. Right, so we are seeing Xu trusting that rat ogre to, uh, to block its way forwards. Of course, you know, the ball was nice and secured on a gutter and shielded away before he did, but it still might have given Jimmy a way to get oh, even just on top on. of the momentum. And that dodge fails. And there goes a reroll. And I'm there goes sure a reroll as well. Jim's going to be really happy to see that. What was the point of that reroll? I, I, I didn't hate the dodge, I did hate the reroll. Yeah, yeah, the dodge is okay because he's going to get punched in the face anyway. Yeah. I mean, you either stay down or you dodge out. There's there's almost no reason just to stand up and get hit. But the way he's gone man-to-man -man with those golems... I know other people prefer golems. They'll always be golems to me. Jim's got a lot the amount of hitting he can get done here. I have a feeling he'll have a little tilt at the Rat Ogre as well. Oh, lucky girl. Oh. Now, in Jimmy's dreams, he hurt that gutter, but at least it's removed from the pitch. And another big pal. And unless I'm very much mistaken, we now almost have... It's not a gaping hole. I would call that a little tiny hole, a little peeping little window of a hole. It's a four plus to get the, uh, the ball through on a blitz to the ball carrier. But I wonder if Jim fancies it. This early in the game, of course, perhaps not the end of the world if it doesn't work. I I don't see the... I don't know. I mean, if he takes down the rat, recovery is non-existent. Um, there's a ghoul that could possibly come through as well. Another four oh, plus it's three gonna plus. Be, I want to see a blitz on the rat ogre. No, two dice, two dice. No, just two dice with the zombie. And if that moves, that gives the ghouls a way around. Oh. Unfortunately, it didn't. The tail still prevents it. means it's a four plus for the ghoul to get around the outside. But it's still, it's on. No, he's going to go for the uh, the undefended gutter. Just the shots. thing is, a much much better target. Astakel is the the one that the Chulang is going to use to. Take back the ball. I mean, the nice thing here is that, uh, you know, we have removed a gutter. 
There's another stun, which is really limiting the rat's options. There's a lot of base-to-base -base contact. Even the killer is not really in a position to fire back. So Jim's choosing to leave nothing in the backfield. Come with the full press now. Every single rat is based. Now, the gutters can usually get away, but it's how many of the linemen can come with them and just how much hitting Jim gets for next turn. Yeah, this is not looking good for uh, Shublank. I think uh, they, yeah, we're going to see a retreat. It's an enforced withdrawn offence, or he's going to use this space up on his, his right-hand side, and I think now you shoot, that's the way he'll go. Now, what do you think in the chat? Do you think Jimmy should have taken that shot at the ball, the four-plus, for a two-die on the ball last turn, or...? Was, was putting fishing. this much it pressure was. on and just taking what he had the way forwards. He was fishing for bows. Yeah, I kind of, I preferred the ball shot, particularly once he opened up the rule route for the ghoul to just get through on a single four plus dodge by moving the rat ogre. However, if it had, and he had a couple of pieces he could have left in the backfield until he tried it to cover exactly this, which is the, that commitment forward hasn't caused the fails so far. And now the rats are very near to reversing this field. Oh, there comes the fail. It's on the killer. He doesn't re-roll it this time. Wise move. Yeah, he can't throw another re-roll at that. I mean, he can, but I would have called him foolish for doing so. Yes, you're right, the ball carrier wasn't based. I did lie. Well, I bent the actuality to serve a more uh, dramatic narrative. Hello, Papa Piccolo. Oh, no, Jimmy. I think you're doing the GFI. Yes, that's it. The yeah. Just locking down the situation a bit more and really opening that route through to the ball. Could get someone right in front of it if he wants to. And here comes the wolf to do exactly that. Okay. Just settles for nearby it, saying hello to the ball. Just visiting. He has a pretty two dice on the side of the step. Uh, got the runner too. With the wolf. Which, if it's about, sort of seems to base the ball even a little more. Yeah. I mean, as we all know, a double based ball is, is certainly more at risk than a single based one. If Shublank wants to score next time, with a two-head rat, he's going to be able to. Oh, yeah. I mean, but with a two-head rat at that sort of range, you can score any time you want to. But um, I think It's Jimmy a question of whether be, he wants to. Yeah, Jimmy will be very happy having uh, that many times, four five times, to counter a score. So well, He'll be thrilled. And what had looked like a good position for the rats to reverse the field, Jimmy's got right back on top of. Put pressure on all over that move down because of the early dodge fail event. It wasn't quite strong enough. And as you say, the rats can score, but Jimmy won't mind that at all. Their only other option is a massive pullback, and it'll take them a couple of turns to stabilize before they can push forwards again. Unless Jimmy manages to get completely out of position, which I don't think he will. A little bit surprised we didn't see the foul there. I know it was only one assist, but Jimmy does have the bench, so... Only a bench of one, though, so perhaps that limited him. Bench of two, if man has to kill the rat. And I think Shublan can or go back very deep in his own uh, half. Score. There is no middle ground here. Yeah, the problem with going back deep is that, I mean, the rats he's already set up, for example, they're in such trouble that it's hard to imagine him retaking over the line of scrimmage area. So it just moves the pressure further back in the field, and then he's looking for his three gutters to find a route through, which, of course, they can do, but there is risk there, isn't there? I'll go for the score. I think I would score here. I mean, plus Shu, I think, will back himself to defend with rats. No, he is pulling all the way back. Okay. Well, he needs to move farther back. Does seem a little risky. 
But no, all the gutters made it, so he's got that very, very high defensive line, but there it is. No, we wouldn't be surprised if we see the same thing here, with Jimmy just attacking that blockless gutter again. Well, that seemed a little optimistic, but he pays no price for it. I was really optimistic there. You know what you achieved there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even if you... I mean, what, best case scenario, I suppose, you could power it, but it seems unlikely. On a push, you're still going to end up on one or other of those two players. And I wasn't really wasn't sure the Rats should have, you know, we're willing to test their armour that easily. One in nine. Roll. Yeah, surely has got a point. I mean, this could be that we're seeing team tactics override choose more natural instincts here. Obviously, if three withdrawals from here till the end of the round, and, uh, you know, Team France take the round as a win. So he may be under instructions to play very conservative and go into half-time 1-0 up. In which case, pulling back probably made some sense, but there is some risk to it. The yin and yang is going to be the tackle, yes. That was with my target. Oh! oh! Very unlucky, Jimmy. Very unlucky. Terrible target, wow. guys. Very, very, very bad. Because that yes. was awful. And Jimmy feeling, of course, with only two rerolls that he couldn't. Oh no, he'd already used one that time. He already he? used one for the oh. one in nine. Maybe that one in nine uh, starting at the turn was, you know, maybe something to say for later. But you can expect the, all that one yeah. in one go. No. Yeah, yeah. Even if he didn't uh, get the power with the rat. Pushing the rat uh, back, and then it was a lot of space to base the ball, cover the rats. Now, it's more all looking that for is... a, a stun or something on one of those gutters, isn't it, to prevent exactly this? This this easy movement they've got. It's a pretty safe shape to me. Having said that, it is just a 5-plus to dodge into that cage. Interesting, the Rat Ogre choosing, instead of the Blodge Wolf, choosing instead to go with the White. Now, if that Blodge Wolf chooses to dodge in, that's a 5-plus, which is a 55% chance of making it. Well, first he has to dodge from the tail. No, I'd have, I was, in my world, the... Um, the flesh column knocked the rat ogre down in a single hit as soon as the white stands up and then something else uh, knocked out the tackle zone on the line rat and then the wolf goes for it but i admit you do need a power on that first hit for sure Let's see if Jimmy fancies this. It's, it's certainly it's a possible way forwards here. That slightly ruins it, but only slightly. Green the wolf is not complicated, and I think he's going to see that. Two dice with the golem. Yes, it's whether he fancies that dodge in. I mean, the wolf will definitely do some block. <laughs> Excellent. And now two players free, we can uh, blitz with the wolf. Yeah, looks like he is. He's certainly cancelling that tackle zone, which would indicate it. He's still got another white and a ghoul to try and respond afterwards if he gets the ball down. Yeah, I was going to say that might be one team. Oh, fuck! I misclicked the blitz! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jimmy forgetting no. to press the blitz there, and uh, instead just moving things around.
Don't worry, don't, don't worry. It's all right, he's all right. Yes, but he's removed from the drive. But ironically, of course, in trying to recover a piece into a better position to make up for the forgetting to press the blitz button, uh, that piece Maximum stumbles punishment. over its back of the punishment. and gets totally punished. Now, whilst I didn't love the blitz target anyway, I thought the uh, the ball attack was on. No, no. The fact that we didn't do it means that. Um, this field is now going to get fully reversed, isn't it? We're going to see a very easy stall spot from the uh, Skaven for the next couple of turns. And the task for Jimmy now is to get on top of it and at least force them in next turn, if that's at all possible. Of course, a draw here, not a bad result for England. I think we're fairly confident that Sean is going to win his round. Trusting Shawnee to go for the fifth game. Uh, the fifth game will fall to me. Oh, well, well, there you go. And the only way it's rendered irrelevant is if somehow France are so far ahead by the end of tonight that um, I cannot catch up in any way. Jimmy has options, can blitz the line rat wall. Not many good options, but. No, no, hardly any. But you have to get into this cage, you have to try and force them to score, or if not, chip another gutter that actually dies, but we've not been lucky there either. And getting some people around the front edge of some of these pieces. I mean, we know where they're going to go. They're going to head into the corner. Oh, yes. Jimmy's got the re-rolls if he wants to do GFIs, but at the same time, it's exposing the gold if he puts it in front of that rat. Chooses not to. Puts the gutter in on one of the line rats. I mean, again, I think we're in a position where if Shu makes just a couple of three pluses, he's going to have a whole wall of rats defending this board, isn't he? Yeah, no, right now, the AG seems very easy for the rats. It certainly does. And there it goes, right into that corner square. And of course, it's got two heads, so it dodges as if it's AG5. So even if Jimmy got right next to it, it's hard to see how he will. Uh, it's going to be at worst a 1 in 36. That's why I might have taken that 5+, plus, is I sensed if we didn't, things would only get harder. And sure enough, it's going to be a collection of 5+, pluses to get anywhere near this ball, I think. You see, he can't leave that bottom door open. So far, this is positionally a mistake from Shu. That's a proper no, oh, another Gareth Southgate has joined Gary Neville on the bench. Oh, but Southgate not coming back. Too ashamed of that penalty. Takes no farther path in this game. And there we go. He finally closes that back door with the final dodge. That's annoying. Otherwise, there was a lovely five plus along the uh, touchdown line to get hold of this gun, this rat. Oh, dangerous! Out. Oh. Oh, that's massive. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's really. Uh, Shorthand deep. seaman letting us down there. And the Claw Mighty finally doing some work and taking him out of the game. Jimmy is going to be shorthanded for the second half. No, nope. no, he is, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to be down yep. one. He's going to be a max of ten, and there is no way to generate a realistic hit on this ball. 
unless the wolf fancies a 4 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus. Now it's got dodge, and Jimmy's got a reroll, but it would then be a 1 die, there's no way to cancel the assist. Nope, looks like Jimmy's just going to go for a, a takeout on the Roger instead. Two dice into two dice. Yep. And no joy. Nuffle not loving Jimmy Fantastic this evening. Hiding what he's got, and Shu just taking the touchdown. One nil to France at half time. Oh, well, well, very well. much an advantage, Francais. Well, well, well. Have the early GG already been dropped? Well, uh, Jimmy has the one turn. Yeah, Jimmy dropping the good game. I yeah. think now's the right time. I think well, we do need that kind Shulana. of mojo behind us right now. This is the uh, this is the training montage bit for the England film. This is the Nadir where it all looks its bleakest. A full point behind and one nil down at the half in game three. Wait, wait, wait! Jimmy still has to the chance of uh, getting a touchdown here with the with the Wolves. That's what I mean. This is the Nadir just before he gloriously pulls it back with the one turn touchdown. And then goes on to dominate the second half for an easy win. It'll never be as bleak as it is right at this moment. From here on, the only way is up, Jimmy. For Jimmy Fantastic now. The only way is up, Jimmy. That's it. Throw a rock into the Surhan's uh, goal, dead. Well, his dice are not going to get worse. Therefore, they're going to get better. Plus, Jimmy's already had the fuck it, good game moment. So from now on, he is free. He is freed of all expectation and duty. And he can just enjoy smashing some rats up. Yeah, it's all up to Shawnee now. He did, Shawnee, absolutely. Uh, a big, big mistake from Shu there, frankly. Ooh, now, does the quick snap make it harder or easier? Sometimes I think it's best just to stay in a position if you know exactly what your plan is. First action is going to be with the wolf frenzying. Yes. And now with the blitz with the wolf. Maybe he does have the reroll for this, so. Not a mistake. Okay, no, no, no. I'm miscounting, aren't I? There we go. Doesn't even need the blitz. He can blitz through the back line. Beautifully done, James. Nice. So the wolf yep. is in range. Now he just needs an assist, ideally. Or he goes for just blitzing on his own. Um, interesting to see what the choice is there. For it's a fine. Handoff is fine. Mm. 
thing for England and color. We're singing a song. We're singing for England. Il va rejoindre des blitz. Come on, Jimmy. Let's get this done. Oh! Oh! Gets the pal. Anakio. Gets the removal. Two steps from glory. Bing and bong. Boom. Redeem. Redeem. Now, if Retract anyone was wondering what they meant all those years ago, that is how you get round the back. Oh, Jimmy, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Glorious. Told you, Fermi, you needed faith. That was the Nadir, the moment before the glorious one turn. Rats fully ratted on there. And there's still the issue of being short of numbers and down a flesh column, but who cares? He has three free hits here. And the tackle uh, rat is out. So that makes things. I thought Jimmy did that fantastically, Johnny. I will have not a word said against it. That was nicely done. He changed plan from his original plan to his quick snap plan. The quick snap plan worked brilliantly. Uh, it only took two hits, I think, um, to get yep. exactly where he needed. It was absolutely stunning. And left him the blitz to blitz through the gutter runner. Just beautiful. But yeah, Kefo would have done it quicker. But then he's a computer with very little personality. And I say that as a man that loves him. Oh, well, thank you, Astapix. I consider myself taunted. I believe it is traditional for you to tell me that my father smelt of elderberries. The moment, of course, that most French people are used to when it all has gone wrong. They really think they just wish it was all over and they could just surrender and be German. The bleeds. I mean, I think the early GG definitely, uh, definitely calls a lot of power in that one turn, Skura. I think that's absolutely right. The early GG was what broke uh, Shulang. Ah, that puts the numbers for this drive back to 10-10, which Jimmy's going to be really happy to see. Now he's thinking about his screen ahead of this pickup, just trying to make sure there's no easy way through for those gutters. I mean, there's always a way through for the gutters. It's about making it as tough as you can, so that if the pickup fails, they can't easily get hold of it, and if it succeeds, you've got somewhere to go. It oh, does well, fail. At least there is no other in range. Reach the board. Base it. Nope, the, the gutters can base, but nothing is quite in range of where it's gone to. Um, now, this isn't a bad screen, considering the resources Jimmy had to put into the line of scrimmage. Uh, there's an obvious route as we're looking on Jimmy's left-hand flank, on Shoe's right, through that lone zombie. I'd be surprised if we don't see the Rat Ogre moving that and then the gutters flooding through down that flank. There's the assist. Uh, that's going to be the plan. No, nope, he's, he's coming with the claw instead. Same zombie, different plan. That's the tension between these two blitzers. Now it gets to move it, does not get to knock it over. Roger tries his big four plus. No, nope, that tail will just keep waving and waving and waving. And waving and waving. Don't look at the tail. Don't. Do not look at the tail. Um, the rat ogre stays exactly where it is. But he has created a hole. It's not a yawning hole. It's not a gaping chasm of a hole. 
Balsam to bless it. Sweet little channel that you could just slip a little rat through. Almost like a gutter. I wonder if he will run things through it. It has been an absolute stunner, Miss Beltry. The rat secured fairly easily. We had a couple of turns of toing and froing. Um, Jimmy managed to put a load of pressure on the rats, but maybe overcommitted a little forwards. That meant the rats came piling down their right hand flank, the left as we're looking at it. Jimmy looked to be out of position, but he got massively back on top of them, causing all sorts of pressure. And uh, that was by turn oof, about three. They pulled back instead of pushing forwards. Uh, and then Jimmy, when they came back again forwards the next turn, Jimmy forgot to click blitz on his chosen blitz, leaving them a fairly easy reversal of the field and a turn eight stall under very little pressure, during which they also took out one of the flesh columns. Jimmy then responded with one of the greatest one turns you will ever see up there with any goal that Alan Shearer ever scored. Uh, to put us back at 1-1 for the half, he's still down that flesh column, but he has removed a rat, making it 10-10 on both sides. But a misfield early in this half has meant, look at the amount of pressure that these rats have put on that ball. Oh my goodness me. If that ball was in a geological area, it would be turning into a diamond right now. That's the level of pressure we're seeing. And of course, all of those rats are sidesteppers. Filthy, filthy vermin that they are. Okay, that helps. Yeah, it, it certainly doesn't hurt. It's a good thing. But again, it's a good thing for this drive, but this drive is over unless Jimmy recovers this ball somehow. Now, that's the uh, the vulnerable of these gutters. The one without block is taken out. Now, where does the blood step go? I would step on now, the ball here. I go, I'll go down to still base the ball. Oh, he gets the lovely power on the fourth dice. And the oh, removal, yeah, my right. goodness me. If you're not humming Rule Britannia right now, then there isn't an English soul in your body. Rule Britannia, Britannia wools the waves. Jimmy, never, never, never will be beaten by rats. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> We will have that ball. So, of the rats that came are coming, uh, two are now stunned. The Apo is gone. And the ball is uh, pretty secure, I would suggest, for this turn at least. Jimmy's going to have a lot of space to play. Yeah, um, these rats are starting to look a little thin, aren't they? The uh, necromantic now up in numbers. He can dodge the wolf. Yeah, you can, but it's a blodge wolf. I don't hate leaving it there and dodging the zombie. And if it gets the assist, you can then hit with it. I, I prefer the one deal with the zombie then, instead of the dodge. Yeah, that's not terrible either. Yeah, you're right, 1D with the zombie, and then if it works, you can do the 1D into 2D with the wolf. Um, but no need for any of it. You know, it's tying rats up in the backfield, creating risk. Ah, but the Roger has come into play, finally. Gary Neville is out again. <laughs> yeah, Gary Neville uh, doing the Darren Anderton role in this England team, spending a lot of time on the seat bench. Ooh! Wow. And takes the big skull. Well, there is not much else to do in the town anyway, so... No, no, absolutely. It's more about, you know, does the claw create enough risk? Of course, it's it's AV7 anyway. But you know, if you remove another rat from this equation, things start to look very, very tricky. 
Now, Jimmy has an entirely unchallenged turn to secure this ball into a reasonable position and start to drive it forwards. He's also got the option, of course, now. I would suggest the rats are thin enough on the ground. He's got the option of going for the early score. I wonder if he will, or I wonder if he thinks from how the first half went, he can just wait for the end and step over and leave them to one turn back. Of course, if he kills enough of the rats, the one turn becomes very difficult. What do you mean, suddenly, Lemon? Are you telling me there was a moment where there was darkness in your heart? You abandoned your queen and your country? You thought the French, the French, were going to win? I think you should turn in your passport, mate, and go and get one of them black ones the EU gave you. Oh. Not for you, the glorious and overly expensive blue that for some reason we all want. They're buying glasses half the ground now. I never understood the passport thing. I mean, who wants a bit of paper in the modern age? Who cares what colour it is? Now it has I remember. All I'm old enough to remember. When a certain young man called Ian Botham strode out into Test match cricket with Australia in a dominant position and he bowled them out and smashed that ball around and won that test for England and surely, surely what Jimmy is doing here today stands comparison with that How oh, you keep ringing cricket here cricket is a fake game the rules that nobody understands and are just made up on the spot Yes, I'm, I'm role-playing as someone that cares about England and is patriotic for me. It's not natural to me. I'm having to make it up as I go. Oh. Okay, Jimmy's going to do this the hard way, without flesh golems. Well, some people say that the necromantic without flesh golems are better. It just slows you down. Move four, who needs their slow asses? Exactly, now... Uh... Jim's team is uh, average speed much faster. Wall finally gets Ooh, the bow. Takes a pow. Ooh. Oh, blimey. Jesus well, fucking Christ. Imagine not getting come. removed here. Fucking imagine yeah. getting blocked and not getting instantly removed. On a blodger too. The slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. From a stunningly good position, it turns dark. Darker than a year of Prime Ministership under Boris Johnson. There are now only seven necromantic pieces on this field. Jesus, for a second, I, no, I thought you wanted to say it's only seven years more of uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, yeah, seven, sorry. That really being not very many. And, of course, one of them is stuck on a sidestepper, making it even harder to see how he might get free. Uh, blitzing off, yes, if 55% you roll a pow, but... The two zombies are going to probably have to stay where they are. One's trying to hold the rat ogre all by itself. But every other one of these rats is going to come piling after this ball. And instead of Jimmy thinking, oh, do I want to score or do I want to stall? I think probably he's now thinking, how the bloody hell do I stop to keep this ball in my hands? Here comes the big three plus. Oh, Nuffle says he's going to mess with us. Cost Jimmy a reroll, but the cage is formed. Maths lovers will note that one rat is based. Well, one rat ogre, that is. Uh, leaving, I believe... Um, bloody loads of them that aren't. I think that's the official phrase. Jimmy has this one zombie to try and put in a spot where it's a pain. And I think that's the perfect spot. I think the two go for it's needed to be risked. I think it does put it yes. more in the way than anywhere else. It means the Rat Ogre probably has to risk blocking a lot earlier than you would want as the, as the Skaven. Um, so I think Jimmy using the resources he's got in the best way he knows how. And I think none of us are surprised by that, but oh my goodness, this has turned bleak. I 
I think the Blitz is going to be the top left wide of the cage. So he needs to put the, the guard right there. Blitz the one mighty block low. And allows you to put a lot of pressure. Hey Bowser, you may think that if you don't have tackle and they have blodge, that it is 30%, not 55%. But I don't like your facts. I've decided I want alternative facts to that. And in my alternative facts, um, you still power blodges 55% of the time. Just sometimes they lie about it. Those oh, dirty foreigners. Exactly what I said. And there we are. Full on press. One wolf nailed to the wall. The ball base with blood stamp. Very tough situation. And here come all of the other bloody rats, of which there are loads. Hmm. Truth to be told, there are a lot of rats. There really are a lot of rats left still, yes. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um. Well, this is a this is a bugger, isn't it? I mean, you can still dodge that white forwards and get it next to the wolf. Um. Then the wolf can. Okay, Shulang decided to give a hand uh, to Jimmy. You know. Yeah, that that helps a little bit, removing the Roger. Um. I will stress a little bit, it, it doesn't help a load. It gives, uh, can give him uh, two dice with a sure hands on the line rat. And then you can try to fish for a power with a guard uh, white, and if it works. Yeah, and if not, at least you've got the blitz out option. Okay, goes fishing for the power early, doesn't get it. But again, wherever you push that rat to, you've got dodge out options afterwards. So there is at least that. Gets the oh, power yeah, with the, the uh, secondary hit, but with the ghoul. There's interesting choices. I mean, it's got a lot of guard around there. But there is, of course, a rat guard as well, which does complicate it. I was just thinking you could... Uh, move the zombie up to assist on the claw mighty and then blitz that out of the way and then stay and just hit the rat in front of you but it slightly throws the wolf under the bus and of course once that guard vermin's in place it's um, still very very exposed so instead Jimmy pulls back I think that probably did have to get done Well, that was the assist I spotted. I wonder if we're going to see Jimmy... Yeah, he's going to blitz that rat as his final yes, action. with That's the line, nice. the line yeah. yeah, I like that. That's a creative use of the... Uh, of the white. Gets it back in action and away from the claw mighty. The yeah, this is... This, that's a properly nice turn I think Jimmy's put together there. I think considering the awful situation Jimmy has been in for a couple of turns and was in at the start of that turn, I think that was some fantastic coaching. A really nice solution found. And now, uh, yes, I will try to dodge with a zombie. Put them, uh, move it back down. Because there does nothing. And if you manage to dodge, it's a nice roadblock. Yeah, though at the same time it's also holding a, an Agility 3 rat there that could get round the back without it, so I, I don't mind it there. Stun, I mean, I know it's not the most important piece in the, this jigsaw, but every piece is so vital now with so few on the field from both teams. There is no uh, extra time here, so... No, no. And a draw is a possible outcome. I think he's going to... No? Yeah, I thought he was going to blitz too. Yeah, he yeah. I thought he wow, was... Yes, no power on least. those three. 
dodge with the the line wrap. Yeah, I thought he might just dodge off and come straight up this flank. Six through that dies, final no foul, but at least the surehands is free. Nine dice. Yeah. Those blood steps have been really, really, really effective, haven't they? And I know Crystal, for example, if he was here, would be talking about how, oh, you could build your rats with 75 other skills, all of which can be Yes, yes, they will pass block, shadow wing, uh, kick, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, prehensile leg, one eye, three arms. But there's just no getting away from how good a blood step rat is, is there? Some very, very complicated situation. So 11 is. dies without a bow. Wow. And I think Jimmy wouldn't have minded a push there just to move himself up into the pocket next to the white. Yep. I think the. Uh, I might even have thrown a reroll at that just to get that move. Because where we are right now is brutally exposed. There is. Okay, that was the one of the things I was thinking yeah. in the zombie. Yeah, that was the only real answer, wasn't it? Tag the guard, the rat, and then dodge with the wolf. Yep. Cover the back. Yep. I mean, you can take the hit and trust in the blodge. That's but no, I'd want the wolf off, out and mobile. Oh, it doesn't make oh. it though. A one in nine fail there, that could be huge. Ooh. Now, in Blodge, we trust. There's an obvious and very easy one die here. There's a not particularly difficult two die. Jimmy now depends on the Shublang rolling a 1 in 36 or something like that. Or having a terrible, uh, having terrible block dice, but I think uh, Jimmy has spent all the non pause results on the table. Certainly needs to be some pals to make up the averages, so it wouldn't surprise anyone if we saw some here. Not on the first one. No. Of course, Jimmy, very, very grateful that the. Um, The dauntless wrestle tackle yeah, piece out. Uh, is the one that's removed. Oddly, this a match where strip ball would have been very useful. Now he gets one more shot at this. I don't think he's going to try to fish about with one dice. How about he can no, do I think he's going to come through and give an assist to make it two. Doesn't and get it. Has another go. Still doesn't get it. There are no powers in this game. Come anymore. on, England. We few. We band of ghouls. That's it. See the play. Clear play. Pass to the Surhans goal. Runs away towards the victory. Now he has to deal with the guard on the side stepper with two heads. If he gets a powder, that will be massive. Because we'll get him a guard in advance of rats. Mm -hmm. Yes, whilst there aren't many pieces on this field, there is enough that you can see ways that Jimmy can still get on top of this. It's not easy, but it is durable. wasn't really the start we were looking for. But it happened. 
Okay, how many dice has been already without a yeah. pile now? Uh, at, at some point, you've got to stop hitting the blood steps and hit something else. 16, 16 dice for Jimmy. Plus all the dice uh, that the Shublanga is like 20 something yeah, dice. That one doesn't problems. even have block, though. That's just a sidestepper. That's what makes it particularly evil. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, it wibbles and it wobbles, but it won't go down. And, um, yeah. That oh. was it. Wow. Jimmy tried to forward his scoring threat and then he was going to run and punt. But wow. <laughs> what, a, what an absolute Dyson. <laughs> and there's the pal that hasn't been that's coming foul, that was and well now... overdue. Oh, yeah. I think I've been close to 30 dice without uh, a power at all. And the shoe goes through by scoring two. Who knew? Of course, this hasn't been picked up yet. It could still... <laughs> it could roll four ones, it's possible. Oh, no, only three uh, ones. You could fail the pick up, bounce it off another rat's head and over onto the other side where mm. you pick it up with something. But he doesn't. No, true, Pedro. I didn't have to hit that gutter, but obviously if I knock it over, then it can't intercept. So I I've, I've thought it doesn't have block. I get to hit it on two dice and three dice. You know, it was pretty decent odds of knocking it over, and obviously it takes three movement off it as well. So I quite liked hitting the hitting the gutter. Um, yeah, the play was the play was to pass the ball to the Surhans uh, goal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So like, I, I couldn't yeah. get there for a handoff, and I thought about different blitzes I could try and do to get there for a handoff, but I couldn't really get there for a handoff. So I just thought block him for the intercept, and then uh, you know there was there was gonna be five dice at him. Needing them both down, and then obviously I could just blitz him at the end as well, and then make the punt. So like there were, <laughs> there were, yeah. there were lots yes, of. Yeah, I thought it was, it was a, it was a short throw to him in position. If you took the gutter down, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then a blitz off and run and longer throw to him if you didn't. Yeah, and there was five but guys. But no, blood step no. just did its work. Sadly, this game. Mm. Mm. I could hit them, but they they can't. They couldn't intercept, could they? Could they? Oh, yeah, they probably could have been so. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe they didn't need to do that. No, nah, maybe they're an idiot. Yeah, because he was in a tackle zone, so it was still just a 6 plus, wasn't it? So, yeah. I was thinking it was a gutter, so it was more chance of intercept, but it was already in a tackle zone, so it didn't really matter if I got punched him. But still, I had lots of chances to punch him and didn't have to block, but I guess I shouldn't have. But there you go. Who cares? <laughs> right? Who cares? It was an absolute massive. I mean, that was a Dyson, wasn't it? That was a proper Dyson. Ridiculous. Yeah. Five kills and three take it the rats. A Beautiful one turn in the middle, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was happy with that. <laughs> because if you didn't uh, get down those uh, gutter on his back, they could just blitz the ball carrier without any problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah, I, I think it was worth trying to get him down. The, the it was like yeah. it was so likely to get him down. But um, yeah, well, that was brutal, wasn't it? The one in nine fail pickup was brutal. The dodges yeah. were bad. The GFIs were good. <laughs> and the injuries were terrible, but um, yeah. Thanks, Shawnee. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, yeah, that's true. That I mean, that was a big mistake. That was a huge mistake not declaring that blitz. And you can argue that I should have maybe tried five pluses in, but I don't like trying five pluses in to bloody you know like especially against sidestep because I'm probably not going to power him right, and then he's going to sidestep to a horrible place and surf my wolf, and I don't just want my wolf surfed. Guaranteed injury and your best player and like the only guy that can threaten, threaten gutters seems bad. But yeah, the failing... I mean, it's not that I failed to declare it, I just didn't double click properly and like... Normally if you double click, you blitz, don't you? And I tried to double click and just failed to have double click next to him instead of on top of him. So, well, that's why I, I always declare the blitz and then hit the player. I, I've never yeah. trusted myself to double click in time because I'm yeah. just too old and slow. Yeah, maybe I've got to that point now. <laughs> you actually have. You just got to the arthritic click speed that I've had for a while. Yeah, I messed up as well. I messed up. I'll show you that. I'll show you the replay. I messed up on one turn. Um, Jimmy, I don't come away from that thinking, wow, Jimmy blew that. I came away thinking from that thinking, well, Jimmy tried his best, but that was a bloody tough game of Blood Bowl. Thanks, yeah. So no was. shade thrown, mate. I thought that you was rough. That was fine. rough. It was, yeah. It was, it was and the one turn was beautiful, so... You can always, you've always got that. Thanks. I'll, I'll show this though, because I'll show you what I was thinking. Um, but I, I messed it up anyway, even though I was thinking it, I messed it up. Um, 
Oh yeah, it was this. T that's the turn when that wolf dub, dub skulled. What what I wanted to do was I wanted to knock this guy over and then chain the zombie are there and then punch him so I could hit the ball. But this was the only guy who could realistically get into assist, so I, I already blew it. I blew it instantly. So like this guy should have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. Because that, that that ghoul there. Oh, you can't see. Wait a minute. Sorry. I'll I'll share my screen with Fimir and PC here. Um. Yeah. So th this this ghoul was like over here somewhere, right? Yep. And I moved him into assist, but I shouldn't have. I should have. I should have moved this ghoul or this white in here to assist. And then I had to do that block. Then if I'd powed, this school was the only one that could reach to get into the here. I wanted this school in here, really. I wanted a player in here. But with the with where the zombie was, it had to be this school because this school was like over here or something. So he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he would have filled that up. Then I could have blocked him, pushed the zombie into there. Yeah. And then the yeah, zombie yeah. could have punched him. And then on a pow or a both down, I guess he, would, he wouldn't take the both down. So on a pow, I could have, uh, I could have powered this guy. Oh, he hasn't got sidestep. I no, he hasn't, so you just have pushed him out of the way. Could I have pushed Yeah, if this had been a pow, yeah, yes. Yeah. So if this had been a pow as well, in fact, even a push, then he's not there, is he? And then, yeah, so I could have just pushed him out of the way. Yeah, so I could have just pushed him out of the way and then, bam, hit the ball. So that was the plan, but I fucking assisted with him, and that was where I went wrong, because he was the only person who could get round the back to fill in the square. But it was a nice idea, I just instantly messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately that uh, attempting to go around that side meant there wasn't much pressure in front where he could just come straight forwards down that flank again, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean also it was the dub skulls, wasn't it? After after yes. the one in nine, so like that yeah. was just yeah. horrendously unlucky anyway. Like there would yeah. have been a lot in the way if, it, if it I hadn't massively was. So, but then I, you know, I just when I thought you got away, you got back on top of him beautifully, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. tried. I tried hard. Anyway, so there you go. That's fine. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, Fimir and PC. Absolutely great. Ah, it's been a pleasure. Now, I do have to disappear. I'm going to keep you watch. guys up. And if my fumble, fumble game doesn't happen, I will come back, if that's all right. But as it has, I do have a, a prior commitment I need to zip away from. The very best of luck to Shawnee. I will certainly keep the stream up. Uh, so I will be watching in spirit, if not in voice. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.